Alright boys and girls, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Kempla Huni Pegasa. So yeah, this is like a Porsche. But yeah, if you guys really enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Like the video and turn the notification bell so you won't miss any of my entertaining content. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video boys and girls. Alright, so this is the Kempla Huni Pegasa. So here we go, the startup. Ooh, I love the startup, dude. That startup is amazing, bro. Let's do that one more time. Man, the startup is just so good, dude. So satisfying, dude. I love the startup. And the rev is actually pretty good. So let's go over here. All right, starting right here in three, two, one, and go, go, go. Okay, yo. Okay, the loss control is pretty good. And it's already at 200 miles of power. That's impressive. Okay, fully boost. So the max top speed is 289 miles per hour. Okay, so fully boost. So fully boost on is 311 miles per hour. Okay, the handling is actually pretty good because you know it's stock, fully stock. And the restriction is 1,557 restrictions and 1,386 horsepower. And it's also part of the weekly quest. Okay, I like that. Okay, I'll take it. So the handling is pretty good and it's. Pretty drifty and slidey. Like, I'm gonna show you right now. So here we go. All right, here we go. Drift. Okay, yeah, that was a perfect handily turny, bro. That was a perfect turny. All right, fully boost. Let's go. And we're gonna drift, right? Drift. Oh yeah. Okay, it is very slidey. So let me just stop right here and turn. Look at that, dude. It just drift. All right, man. So now let's fully upgrade with this car. Engines, engine swipe. We're gonna leave the stock engines. Piston, raise. Piston, crank, raise. Crank, exhaust, raise. Exhaust, aspirations, raise. Turbo, intake, raise. Intake, clutch, raise. Clutch, nitrous, raise. Nitrous. Oh yeah. All right. So it have raised tires for sure. So brakes, raise. Brakes, obviously. So does this car body kit? Surely does it. Oh, okay, so spoiler. All right, I'm gonna leave a stock one. Rear diffuser, we already have it. Livery, we also have it. Livery base, we already have it. Door stickers, we already have it. Diffuser, we don't need that. Banners, we already have it. Root mod, we don't need that. Front mod, we don't need that. Tow hook, we don't need that. Roll case, we already have it. Front spoiler, we also already have it. All right, I'll take it. So for the visual and the gearbox, this might take some time. All right, so I did the gear tuning setup on the Huni Pegasus, and let me go to the gearbox. And for the swipe gearbox, I recommend for you guys to use 10 speed because it can actually hit 461 miles per hour. And also, this car right here, Huni Pegasus, is similar to Huni Corn. Like for real, dude. Same acceleration, same control board. The speed is so insane, bro. It's super, super fast car, dude. That is amazing. So yeah. I'll screenshot this, punch up the screen so that way you guys can copy and paste it. And yeah, let me apply this and let's drive this thing. Ooh, the startup is good. I love the startup, dude. The Huni Pegasus, the startup is so good, dude. Oh my gosh. The restriction is 3,359 restriction, 2,889 horsepower. Okay, that's a lot of horsepower. Okay, so starting right here. In three, two, one, and go. Yep, yep, already at 200 miles per hour and 300 miles per hour already, dude. That is insane. The acceleration is so crazy, dude. It is insane, dude. Oh my goodness. Fully boost. Oh, okay, there we go. 400 miles per hour already. And it's decreasing. Okay. Okay, bro. 461 miles per hour is a bit hit. Not gonna lie. Like, for real. Oh, God. All right, let's go. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Down the ramp and come on. Fully boost. Let's go. Oh my god, yo. Okay, 447 miles powers. The handily. Oh, oh, okay. That was a pretty good bracing turn. Okay. Alright, fully boost. We're gonna go keep going straight. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. Okay, still going. Alright, come on. 454 miles per hour, almost 461 miles per hour. So I hit 454 miles per hour. Yo, it's actually pretty insane, dude. I'm kind of curious about this car versus the Unicorn, bro. 
this is gonna be insane race. All right, so is this car really worth grinding in Roblox Drive World? Well, honestly, this car is definitely worth grinding in Roblox Drive World. And it's also part of the weekly quest and it's free. So you guys can grind it easy, bro. It's easy. So it's part of the weekly quest right here. Only gain numbers. It's the easiest car to get in Roblox Driver, like literally do. So all you gotta do is complete all the quests right here. So let me claim that, but yeah. All you gotta do is complete all the weekly quests right over here. So we got like all of this. So I did the um, location of the part. So if you guys haven't checked out the video, I'll put a link in the description below for the part location in Japan and USA. Go check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. And yeah, it's easy, man. All right, so yeah, um, grind it, man. So yeah, that's it for the video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my entertaining content. So yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.